what is the nature of time? Change. From the point of view of a biological organism, the nature of time is to age, kill, and decay any and all forms of life. Time is seen, rightly, as the enemy of life and as a force of pure anti-life in itself. Insofar as life in itself is a good thing, then time, being brief when pleasant and lasting longest in pain, is evil because time causes all death and brings all life to its eventual and inevitable end. In people in particular, as an example of biological organisms, the psychological perception of time is especially subjective. From a consciously mortal point of view, time is always running out, never returning, but it seems to flow at different rates, at different times itself. The modern Homo sapien rarely thinks their own interior biological clock or circadian rhythm may be independent of an otherwise always constant frame of time as an objective tempo. For example, due to conventional measurement of the concept, the Orient is 12 hours ahead of the New World because one hour is, nowadays, measured the same in both places. In other words, regardless of how time feels, it seems to pass at a single, more or less fixed rate universally. This tempo we call time. Universally, time measures entropy. Entropy is defined as the degree of randomness in a system and as lack of predictability and decline into disorder. Consider this quote from Wikipedia about the second law of thermodynamics. Quote, the second law is concerned with the direction of natural processes. It asserts that a natural process runs only in one sense and is not reversible. That is, the state of a, nat of a natural system itself can be reversed, but not without increasing the entropy of the system's surroundings. That is, both the state of the system plus the state of its surroundings cannot be together fully reversed without implying the destruction of entropy. End quote. For an example of this being the case in the universe, consider that black holes form spiral galaxies of stars around their equatorial accretion disks, seemingly imposing ordo ab cow, by gravity causing energy to slow down and transform into various forms of matter, from stars to living cells. Outside these nebulae, galaxies, and clusters, however, the condition of entropy as matter speeding up into energy remains universal, as demonstrated by the redshift to observed galaxies outside our own, indicating all galaxies to be moving away from one another. This is called universal expansion, and believed to be due to the continuing effects of the primordial Big Bang. This distinction between universal expansion and increasing entropy outside of and around all the galaxies that are gravitationally decreasing entropy inside themselves is a clear demonstration of the second law of thermodynamics. In short, time as a measure of entropy provides a simple scale between twin binary polar extremes, that is, measured as entropy, Time is a scalar between low entropy, usually associated with slowed motion, and high entropy, associated with excitation of motion. A similar scalar is a common thermometer that measures between cool, as a condition associated with low entropy, and hot, 
associated with high entropy. In the case of the standard arrow of time associated with entropy, it is reckoned that entropy always increases and will never decrease. In short, again, the galaxies may provide temporary local decrease of entropy, but their existence increases the remainder of universal entropy outside of them overall. <laughs>